Today's date is October 14th. 2017. It is Karen and Brian's wedding day. Brian Smith and Karen Dugan are getting married. Getting married, man. Yeah. We met on Hinge, which is a, a dating app. Karen had some hiking photos of her. I think it was Glacier National Park, and I had some from me in Canyonlands. Decided to meet for some beers. I think we're both really laid back, and we like sports, and we like hiking, and it was easy to get to know him. A couple beers over a three hour period, you really get to know somebody, and I think Karen and I both knew that there was something special there. The proposal, he had to wing it a little bit because I was coming home from work late. At first it was, hey, I'm going to be half an hour late, and then it was like, I'm going to be an hour and a half late. So at that point, I canceled the reservation and went to Whole Foods. He used steak and potatoes for dinner, and he did a great job cooking. Normally, I wouldn't be asking her what time she's going to come home, like three or four times. Uh, so I think, I think she had an idea what was happening when she walked through that door. I would describe my little sister as almost a pure genius. She's subtle about it and she's very humble. She's one of the best people I know. Uh, she's just a genuine, caring, compassionate person. Kind, beautiful, Karen's a one in a billion. It's just an amazing woman. Brian is an incredibly fun, introspective, and just all around great guy. A freakishly tall human being with a great sense of humor and a kind heart. He's just really thoughtful and caring and he's very close with his parents and family oriented. Just a genuine good person. Brian is someone that you can always count on to go and take an adventure with. I can't tell you how many times we've been on an adventure that we didn't plan out. And I'm telling you, Karen, you're going to have an adventure for the rest of your life and you don't even need anything to do it. I just think that the way that they found each other and how seamless it's been, I know that you know Karen wanted to find that love of her life and it just seemed so easy once they met. Two of the best people I know, and together I'm sure they're going to do amazing things. I'm thinking of the song lyrics, the waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> Tons of anticipation. I know, building the moment. He's just like my best friend, and all the cliches are kind of present. I'm just really excited to see him. We kind of knew, I think, early on that it was headed toward us getting married. Karen's just this beautiful person inside and out. She's one of those people that, you know, makes me the best version of myself. Yeah, I just love her. We're going to Old St. Pat, which is our church we go to. the ceremonies where it's at standing up there at the front and uh, and she walks down I'm excited to see her in the wedding dress good afternoon everyone and welcome welcome to a moment of grace in the lives of Brian and Karen in this moment of holiness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Hi, Brian. 
take you, Karen, to be my wife. I, Karen, take you, Brian, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before God and the church. May the Lord in his goodness continue to fill you both with his great love. Until this much. That's what I'm talking about right there. Check it out. I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian and Karen. Brow is a cool space with lots of exposed brick and really good beer and we get to have my brother's wine there too so it just should be a good fun party. I want to welcome you all and thank you all for coming to join us in this great celebration of Karen and Brian's wedding. And Brian, as we've gotten to know you, it's been just a joy. Just can't wait to you know, enjoy your lives and, and glow in your sunlight. Brian's oldest friend. We go back to the lunch table in middle school, seventh grade. Uh, I couldn't be more honored to be standing here as his best man and a part of his wedding. Uh, it means a lot to me. He's such a great guy. It's just wonderful to watch how in love you guys were. Today was an awesome ceremony. It was just a wonderful display of love and happiness. I love you guys and thanks for having us. What a great time and what a, what a great blessing it is to be a part of this day. Karen is the family member that is there even when you may not realize you need someone. The amount of time, concern, and thought she puts in is second to none. We are so lucky to have a brilliant doctor and woman on call anytime we need. And we're obviously incredibly proud of everything she has and will continue to accomplish with Brian by her side. People came in from all over the U.S., all parts of the world to be here today, uh, and it's really awesome to feel your love, your support, and we can't wait to see all of you on the dance floor. May God continue to bless you all and may continue to bless you in a way that you will continue to be a blessing to each other and to others. F. Scott Fitzgerald said about two people in love they fell briskly into an intimacy from which they never recovered, and I think that's what we see from the two of them when they're together, and it's pretty beautiful. So we're going to say, raise your glasses. And thank you for all coming. Congratulations, Brian and Karen. Cheers. I 
just want to say thank you to Karen for doing so much work planning today to making this uh, go off so well, for loving and understanding me and, and uh, for showing up and marrying me. <laughs> Karen, you look absolutely stunning today. I can't imagine my life without you. Uh, I'm looking forward to all of our future hikes, attempts at cooking a new recipe, yes, even watching Ohio State football, and all the little things in between. So if everyone could raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Karen. Cheers.